over here we have what was Zanga go say? They're going Duck Hunt versus Seize Palu. Yes, okay, I recall exactly who this is now. I gotta see their main first before right, I recall right. who the person is. <laughs> going over to Small Battlefield, something that Zane is very, very accomplished and is uh, very familiar with. Ooh, okay, I like using the uh, ladder hits of the Clay Pigeon there to fight C, trying to fight his way out of out of shield. Alright, C. Alright, finally getting an opening right there with the forward air. But it's right back to neutral. Zane getting comfy, comfy behind their friends right now. <laughs> that shit, that cowboy is that, that gunslinger, that hooligan, I call them whatever, they're, they're hooligans they're to the me. They're the goons. They're the That's goons. what they are. But yeah, Zane's, they're setting up all these really great uh, can bombs that they're really, really, I think they're kind controlling. Just like that, that back air into the can that ran right into seat. Super smart, getting the can all the way it's up coming. and not... Oh, they actually used that can or to, you know, kind of determine where C was going to come back as, as, they, as they recover uh, back to the stage. So C now in a really, really, really dangerous position against uh, Zan. Only 150% in counting. Just going to take it that upper definitely will take it for Kalu. Yep. Ooh, this is it. Ooh. Using invincibility to fight through Zan's can right there, but hitting another upper string is C right now. Trying to find some sort of opening, but just not getting much. And Zane is just running away with things right now. Already getting about 50% credit. Ooh, C wanted to jump in, but the can was there to cover it. Yeah, that's the thing with the can bombs. You have to really be really conscious of where they're going because uh, Zane can actually just throw them whenever, well, kick them whenever <laughs> they want, and it's pretty much over. Wherever you're uh, going, it gets very, very stifled and uh, almost claustrophobic. That back air is not going to quite take it quite yet for that little dog. I'm gonna say, Great, C, yep. had, C had a grab, but Zane was still remoting the can. Uh, almost like a Rosa Luma situation. Oh, absolutely. Duck Hunt and, Duck Hunt and these cans is basically Rosa Luma. Absolutely. The way that Zane's able to ask to kind of um, make a way for the cans to hit the, their opponent so quick, so easily, is, is it's, it's art in and of itself. And a lot of geometry you're doing at once. That trigonometry oh. must be going crazy. A lot of math. A lot of Tiger's theorem at the moment. Great parry, but not getting much out of it. But still getting C off of them with, with that can. And another anti-air uh, up air. C's been jumping a lot, and Zane has been cashing out on it so much. And it's gotten Zane C's second stock. C now on their last, or his, uh, his last stock of yep. game one. Yeah, he's very trapped by these uh, by these cans, and also the the, the first being shot by the gunslingers. So very very precarious situation for them right now. I'm sorry, the guns the gun being shot by the gunslingers. It's 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 a little bit difficult to kind of come in whenever uh, he wants to, just because he's caught by these these can bomb setups that Zane is trapping for uh, for him. That was such a good catch by Zane on C's teleport cancel. C there did that once much earlier in the game, and you're that's it. You're not getting any more. No more teleport cancel. Because, I mean, that's something that you really got to know in the Palutena matchup is being able to know when they're going to use that teleport cancel because it's so powerful. But if oh, you're ready with the read, speaking of reads, C getting that F smash right there and starting to even things up. The Nair train, nice uh, turnaround, but not able to follow it up. Another teleport cancel, and Zane this time ready with the grab almost into the can, but forcing C back to ledge, and now he has to fight his way back off. Here we go. Not, not quite a game yet. Cam on coming, incoming, kind of stuffing and their recovery just an options. -tilt. Yep. Run up and just poke with the dunk. Boop. That's all it takes. Yeah, definitely no way for uh, well, C's, a lot of C's options on this specific stage with can uh, bomb setups were very limited. Had they gone, had he gone on the platforms, Zane would have caught him. Had he gone neutral get up, Zane's can bombs would have gotten, or the gun singers would have stifled him a little bit. So there's a lot of really great moments that for uh, for Zane that they were able to use against C in order to. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> in order to gain uh, this advantage that they have over him. So hopefully he's able to um, to get the counterfeit that he wants, which yes, we were going to over to regular Battlefield. Hopefully this middle platform will be way use useful for Palu in order to do a lot for juggling anti-air options against Zane, which already we're seeing a really great chunk of, in terms of the cam bomb, of course. Right, and speaking of anti-airs, I really think that that's 
what Zane was eating, or that's what Zane was doing so much in this game one. So I think doing that, um, <coughs> or getting that middle platform is gonna give C another route across the stage. Oh, oh no, my you're lying. goodness! You're lying. No, you're not. You're not alive. You're dead. It's over. Catching that power recovery twice in a row. If I had a nickel for every time I saw that this week, I would have two nickels. Because <laughs> it's weird it happened twice on stream. And already lapping C in percent right now. Right. Oh, but like we were saying, that middle platform can be useful for C in order to kind of catch Zane's recovery option or at least coming down from how high uh, they were. I think C wanted to tech there, but instead I think he got an awkward air dodge, which put him right in the way of the can. Oh, not getting that. Really going backwards for the ba Palu back here rather than forwards in order to chase Zane. Yeah, I like what there we go, jump did down there. Using that down tilt uh, to catch Zane's wall jump, which. Why does. Why Duck Hunt have wall jump? Why couldn't Dog Jump wall? Dog Jump wall because dog pads are sticky. Okay. Of course. <laughs> that, that's the only attention I have. Because <laughs> otherwise, it makes no sense. Alright, using that air dodge early and going high this time. Nice recovery, or nice mix up by yeah. C, but another uh, down throw into up air right there. <clears throat> this is a fast paced game right now. C's already on his last stop, Zane, uh, potentially halfway through their second. Gray shooting away, uh, shooting all that extra damage, that all the multi hits of, uh, from Duck Hunt. But. It just seems like a very precarious situation for CZ. If he's able to actually use that third power to his advantage, much he can, because this, of course, is his counter pick. We could be seeing a third game, but honestly, right now, with obvious can bomb that he, like, he does not know how to maneuver around, this kind of looks like a, a, like a clean slate for. Oh my god, I was going the wrong way! And I think. You know, C hasn't really gotten to use his counter pick very much. We saw it a little bit in uh, the earlier parts of this game too. Uh, he was able to get an up air extension off of that top platform. Oh, that was so good. But since then, it's really just felt like small battlefield with a uh, decoration. The decoration, yeah, it hasn't been used uh, too much. It's just for, it's just for kind of you know, getaway recovery. He goes like cam bomb. Now we're stifling that with the re Ooh, okay the dash Ooh. attack. I always get like I'm always like caught off guard with Duck Hunt's little yelp. That's so sad. Why is it? Oh, that was supposed to be a oh, dash no. attack. I guarantee you. Ain't no one doing back air into F Smash raw. Great no dash attack. There. Yeah. Ooh, oh, he just <laughs> kicks the can, and now things are looking a bit more even, but see it put off stage by the can. Uh, no, there's no way. No, okay, you're not dead yet. Surprised I didn't kill right there. It was in such a good angle by Zane with the can. So good yeah. at covering the ledge. Loving the adaptation that Z made in order to just use dash attack whenever he's at this this ledge situation that he's been through so many times. There's no way. Okay. I mean, there's so many times before. I think Zane might have actually wanted the instant ledge jump right there. There it is. But the rage back air. Yeah, I think if you could, if you go back to that uh, last kill, I think it looked like Zane ran off and wall jumped, and you could see they were not happy about it in the player cam. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a yeah. uh, ledge jump back air. Like, yeah, boom. you see that little that little spark of the wall jump, and instead C got the kill for it. Yeah, I was I was waiting to see you know uh, down tilt to back air that I've been looking for like this entire time. Mm -hmm. There's one part where C had actually like went backwards for the back air instead of chasing Zane, which I think would have been is that a new piercing? Ooh. Looking clean. Hold on, that that eyebrow piercing looking kind of clean. I I don't know why I never I feel like I've never seen it. Like it's, it has to be new. Looking, looking kind of, looking kind of like I, I might go on those too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what is our counter pick for small game battle three. Three. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that that empty no space is gonna be really useful for uh, for Zane, especially with her own uh, with their own up airs. Right, I definitely want to see more of those anti airs that we saw in game one. <clears throat> you know, see wants to get in and start getting those. Getting those nares started, uh, but if Zane and and their goons uh, won't let won't let him, then 
then that's it. That's all, all they need. Now, C has definitely made a very great, uh, like, discovery at the first two games. Because now we're seeing a pretty much an even game at the moment, like, right now, instead of it being so clearly towards uh, Zane's favor. That was a, a bold F smash and a bold side B, both of you. You're both bold for that. <laughs> oh, the can. The can, Cam's please. Off. Oh, okay, up throw. Right, going for the up throw. Uh, C is probably looking for some anti airs of his own. Nice explosive flame to try and cover that angle. Yeah, Zane has a really go. careful off the ledge. Because now C is starting to wait, uh, wait a little bit in order to get that down tilt. And knock Zane off that ledge much as, they, as much as he can. Zane had to read on that teleport cancel, but C somehow made his way through the, uh, the up smash. I'm, I'm surprised. That up smash is big, but so is that can explosion. Getting uh, C's first stock. Even things are pretty even right now. Can coming in. Wait. Okay, that's not okay. What's, what's happening here? Like, now we have a complete reversal from game one and almost a game two, where now C has a really great at, great stock lead, uh, percentage lead against Zane. And I'm loving it. You can really see the ad adaptation that he's made against them. Right, C has been finally starting to find those openings, and that's just where he's been thriving in this particular matchup, is when C is allowed to go on the offensive, uh, you know, he's able to play the game so much better than when Zane is really able to set up that defense. All right, back throw, not going to be doing it quite yet. Great shooting away from the can bomb and getting that drop down back air, bruh. Yep, C was looking for another one of those anti air, air uh, up airs that we yeah. saw from the first stock, but still had the frame advantage to go for the back air to still cover. Oh, that's going to be an up air off of the clay pigeon. Oh, but not able to get the second one because Zane was descending there. And instead, C is now getting an opening of his own. Zane has to get out of these up air juggles that they were so caught up in for a little bit. They're gaining 40% on them and counting 65%. Any back air right now will likely kill if he's able to fish for it. Yep, C's got Rage on his side right now. I already can see he's looking for it. I think a back air at ledge absolutely will oh. kill, but a back air from Zane is going to be the thing at taking C's second stock. Zane at a getting to those red percentages, but getting down third by Palu at ledge again. Really dangerous situation for Zane right now. 105% is nothing to be, uh, to be to scoff at. You have a very, very unsafe Ooh. situation against someone like Palu. Who can kill definitely right now with any, well, most of her, and her, her, her aerials and her smash attacks. But Zane can likely bring it back with a lot of more can setups if they can. It's, it's a thing. Gunslinger can coming in clutch for a little bit of a setup situation against that platform that now C cannot use. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, looking to try and catch that teleport cancel again. It's so scary for Zane right now because so many stray things, if they don't kill, they put Zane in a terrible position because yes. now you have to get up off of ledge against Palo again. Somehow that last hit of the clay that was, was hit. That was uh, wacky. You're getting back here. That was, that oh, was. a pop off from Zane so earned. So that situation we saw with the with with all with everything on that ledge actually gave Zane the advantage that she needed in order to chase C off the stage into a back air, giving the game for herself at, at them for themselves at like what 120? Yeah. Zane had to. Zane was playing so safe that entire time they were in kill percentages. That was so terrifying. Yeah, I want to see the, the the after this the last stock if we can, because I want to see that interaction on the right side of the stage. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, man. Understandable. It will it will certainly get there. And there's there's a clang here that actually ended up. Oh yeah. Yeah, and what a comeback from Zane too. Go Zane up had there, 80%. can frisbee into back air. Yeah. Frisbee coming in clutch. Frisbee is such an insane combo tool. Boom, bam, bop. Look how much time... Look at, look at the pop-off. I know. <laughs> but, I mean, Zane has so much time to be able to hit confirm that uh, that clay pigeon. It's a it's a pretty good move, if, oh, I, yeah, say, if I may say so myself. That was super close. I'm I really applauding, like, applause for, like, for C. 
for honestly getting the the download for oh, the yeah. first two games because that was that was close. Oh, Sean, Sean's here. Ooh, let's go. Captain Falcon, Sean and Rock Cody. Hi, I don't recognize. See, I love raccoons, so I will recognize someone with a <laughs> raccoon like tag, like not tag, but uh, like little name. Sponsored by raccoons. Sponsored by raccoons. <laughs> Sponsored by raccoon 